Good evening, everybody. This is Chris Lechness with MobilitySite.com. What you have in front of you is a Windows Mobile 6 professional installation on a pocket PC phone. And I'm just going to give you a little brief overview, uh, not really, you know, like teaching anything, but just, you know, showing what the uh, OS looks like. I've done a few customizations and added a couple programs already. Um, one thing that grabs your attention right away is this today today screen plugin for Windows Live, and you can see that I'm not logged in. Let's log in. Sign in. Now, I'm not on a super fast connection, so uh, it might take a couple seconds here. If you look closely up at the top of the screen, you can see that SPV Pocket Plus is successfully running on this uh, Windows Mobile 6 installation. You can see my battery bar across the top. A lot of people recognize that. I was taking a little bit here. There we go. Come and tell, finding everybody that's online. You can see I got a lot of people online right now. So we can uh, send Jack Cook a PM. You see, we can also send a voice clip if we wanted to. Let's see if he comes back to us with any kind of uh, speed. If not, we'll move along. We'll give him five seconds. All right, bye, Jack. So we'll close that down, and there's my uh, my little icon for Windows Live shows that I'm online now. We could also do a search right here. Let's do a search for Dell Axum. Tell you how bad. Sorry Microsoft, but your Windows Live search is horrible. Don't like it. Google, Yahoo, any other search engine, Axum site comes up one or two in the search engine uh, for Dell Axum. And now we got Dell, which rightfully is number one. And you got the Wikipedia entry of the Axum. I guess that's worthy. We'll click on more and see what else we got. Microsoft. Dell support. Still no Axum site. Setio. Bright Hand. There's Axum site finally. And it's an old devices review that is linked. X30. Google is much better. Sorry. All right, anyway, so we got the Today screen. I showed you those two plugins. That's the Live Search plugin, and that's the uh, Live Messenger. Uh, we also have our Outlook. We can open this up here. Right, let's look at my email here and show you something about email. I don't think I have any. Well, let's look down here. I might have a tech, uh, an HTML message somewhere in here that we can show you. Not seeing any that I know for a fact or okay well we'll show you something else here let's go office documents hey Chris here's samples you requested blah 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 good luck with a site I'm a daily reader blah 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 all right show attachments now you see we have an Excel a word and a PowerPoint presentation or a PowerPoint blah. 
three different Word documents. Let's click on this PowerPoint. And there we go. We have PowerPoint open now. We can play this slide. Oops, it went ahead and changed for me. Okay, there's your deck right there. Let's click on here and it should change. There you go. PowerPoint Mobile. Click it again. Welcome to PowerPoint Mobile. See how it goes? Turn your computer sideways and you can read this. And that's the end of the deck there. So we'll get out of there and show. And it should take us back to our email. Could be wrong, but I think it does. There we go. And you can go to a Word doc. You can actually edit now with uh, smartphones. Let's see. I can't see it all on the screen, so let's go to View, Zoom. Let's go to 75% and see how that looks. There we go. Now you can see everything. And if I wanted to change that to bold, oops, it was bold. Let's make it italic then. There you go. I changed stuff. So anyway, there you go. Changes cannot be saved. The document is read only. It requires storage card. I'm not going to save it. It's attached to our email. It wants me to save it. I'm going to cancel that. Yes, I want to continue. And we'll get out of email here. Let's see if we can find an HTML. All right, we're going to move on here. Let's um let's check on Jack real quick while we we're uh, trying to get re reach him earlier. The programs, Windows Live Messenger. And we'll ping them one more time just to show how this works. Oh, I'm not online. Let me sign in. I guess the message we sent him earlier is um, didn't go through, or it went through, but All right, let's go about our business here. He's obviously not at the computer, I guess. So anyway, let's uh, take a look. By the way, I have installed Pocket Plus and a few other after my OneNote Mobile, a few other app aftermarket applications with Tower Mobile, and it runs fine on Windows Mobile 6. I haven't tried a ton of programs, but I've tried a few. This works just fine. Loads up. I could play it, but uh, if I start playing this game, I won't stop. So we'll go ahead and quit that. Uh, you have your bubble breaker and your solitaire, just like with Windows Mobile 5. Uh, for smartphone, that's my exchange server. Internet sharing. You can share your connection from your phone to you know via Bluetooth through USB. Got Active Sync, Com Manager, File Explorer, Marketplace, which this is uh, basically it would be a, a way for you to get over the air software up, upgrades, or not upgrades, but just software for your device. I'm not going to take you through this list. If it comes quick, we'll see. Microsoft Demo Catalog. Got your notes. Pictures and videos, which I don't think I have anything on here. Camera. Get out of there. Scroll down a little bit more. Remote desktop. 
search. Send manager, Windows Live Messenger, as you saw. Tasks, which is the same as always. SBB menu, that's for uh, mobile shell. Windows Live, we'll start over here, the Windows Update. I've got it set up to, I think, automatic right now. And it recently went out. So, um, you can get all your updates to the OS over the air. Um, I suspect that a lot of carriers are going to turn that functionality off. Windows Media. I don't. No, I don't. I don't want to synchronize. I've got no media on here. There's your player. Windows Live. I already showed you the live search from... It's got your mail. You can have your mail set up there. You can do a search from here. And then you have your um, live messenger information here. We can do another search for Windows Mobile 5 or Mobile 6. Which we'd probably get a ton more hits if we search for Crossbow. But... When you do these live searches, it not only brings you back results from the uh, live.com search engine, it also brings you local maps, news, and live spaces. You can refine your search, do some more. There's some hotkeys there to let you uh, work it more efficiently. Get out of here. And that's basically the programs that you got at uh, by default. Take you back to the menu and we'll go to settings. Buttons, you can map your buttons just like always. I've got voice command set to button four. Input. You can set up your locking information, your owner information, phone. They've got a new ringtone for Windows Mobile 6. Kind of cheesy. But it's better than this one. I don't know, I kind of like that actually. I'm going to leave that there. So, um, menus, you can administer what shows up on your drop down menu. Sounds and notifications. You set up different sounds to play for when Active Sync starts. We can set it up to play this. We can play this. Which these actually, this stuff sounds better than the old stuff. Anyway, so we're going to turn it off because I don't like when ActiveSync starts to have anything. Uh, you can set your screen taps on and off. Hardware buttons on and off. Today's screen, you can set up all the good stuff like always. You can see I've got SVB Pocket Plus on here, which gives us all these nice themes you can set up your items which I'll show you that uh, mobile shell it's a great program it takes a little time well it doesn't take long to set up but to get it looking the way you want it to um, we'll show you what that looks like mobile shell I did a video on this just to give a little overview of it on the uh, trio 750 the other day so come on now processor in this particular phone is not the uh, swiftest in the world. Now there's a, I've got the Pocket Plus. See how it pushes everything down? Now all this information is in a scroll bar, which I don't like. I wish I could do something with that. But we can go here and we can switch the orientation. And there you go. And you know, 
you got your weather and just like I had, we can add a contact. It's pretty quick and easy. We can add Val to our contact list. Now, if I want to call her, we're going to need to put her, her home number. Now all I got to do is click and we can call Val. Dialy. We'll end that real fast. Close that out. And let's go back here, switch our orientation back, get us back right here. And I'm going to turn that plug-in back in because it's not really useful for what we're showing here. It's a good, plug, a good program, though. Uh, voice command, which you're all familiar with. Well, a lot of people are familiar with. System properties. Got about... See there, Windows Mobile 6, blah, 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 device ID, oops, close that out, set your backlight, certificates, clear storage, I don't think I want to type 1, 2, 3, 4, and yes right now, because uh, that's, I believe, the equivalent of a hard reset, clocks and alarms, supposedly some things have gotten fixed, I'm not sure, customer feedback, Device information, encryption, you can set it to encrypt, uh, store, uh, store, encrypt the files that you send to your storage card. That's good in some, uh, enterprise application. Error reporting, got that turned off. External GPS, memory. Got running programs. Nothing's running right now. Storage card, main. Microphone, pocket controller, which is an aftermarket program, power, and just like always, there's a, they say there's like a thousand updates to this OS behind the scenes that make things faster, more efficient, and added functionality, but a lot of it you really can't see. It's a lot of cosmetics, remove programs. Screen, you can set up the orientation of the screen, align the screen, clear type, text size, which I've got it. Let's make it a little bigger. And in mobile show, whoops, got a little too fast with the click in there, huh? Mobile shell and Pocket Plus settings, which don't have anything to do with Windows Mobile 6, but it does work. Beam, Bluetooth connections. Wireless manager. That's about it right there. I got a couple other little things I'll show you and then we're going to get out of here. All right, we finally got Jack Cook to uh, respond to us here. I sent an emoticon as well. So anyway, that's it right now. I will probably get some more for you later, but this is Windows Mobile Professional working on an undisclosed Windows Mobile device. My name is Chris Lightness. This was from Mobility Site for MobilitySite.com. Have a good evening. How many fingers am I showing? Two. Let's play with them here before we go. Oh, one. I know what he's showing. <laughs> anyway, y'all have a good evening. This is Chris Lightness signing off.